Jordan is one of the poor countries in the Near East, especially regarding energy. Pumping for oil was in vain. Now in Jordan starts a new time of renewable energies. More than two million people are living in the capital Amman, supplying themselves mainly on a traditionally wholesale markets. More than every second Jordanian finds its work in the agriculture since the cultivation of vegetables and fruits belong to the emphasis of the country, at least where water has superseded the desert. The remains and the waste have been, as usual here in Amman, simply been thrown on a pile. Today this sums up to more than 3,000 tons of waste per day. This landfill of 50,000 square meters now is the base for a new energy policy. Until now the landfill has been staining, gassing and burning uncontrolled. Now Fermatic has introduced a turn with the first landfill and biogas plant in the Near East. The project, supported by the UN, takes care of clean conditions. The latest technology ensures that waste is not causing any environmental problem, but is producing non-polluting energy. This plant here is becoming the mecca of biogas. Delegations from Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates and Palestine visited the plant. Others will follow. It's not a miracle, because for the first time in Amman's history of disposal they start collecting waste separately. The garbage men are no longer dumping the entire load on a big pile, the organic goes to the plant. At this stage of completion, the plant is able to bear up to 60 tons daily. For Musa Alvaida it's a completely new experience that his freight is no longer just waste but a valuable remain. Of course it hasn't been that easy to convince the trader on the market that the styrofoam box and the empty coke can have not to be thrown away together with the spoiled fruits. But as Thai pure as today his freight didn't last for a long time, so there is not much work left for the inspectors at the grinders. The production of biogas can start. After the fine adjustment of the software has been finished, the power station will be operating in a full automatic mode. It has just to be fed with the special Jordanian conditions. Liquid waste is from the slaughterhouse or from the food industries are parts of it. In only two weeks they are producing biogas from it. With this biogas plant, Fermatic proves that our forward-looking technology could be working everywhere in the world. Our know-how enables us to solve profitably environmental as well as energy problems. It makes sense to handle these future problems together with Fermatic. The gas produced by this plant and the gas sacked from the landfill will still be desulfurized, purified and converted into electricity. So the megawatt installation takes care that the full smelling and polluting gases are no longer rising uncontrolled from the waste and bio-waste, which biological remains are not even brought to the landfill. Less waste and more energy for Amman is brought by this pioneer project from Nordorf to the Near East. Besides, biogas is not destroying the global climate, what remains is high-grade fertilizer. In Amman, fresh air is highly appreciated, while in former times the landfill was sometimes stinking up to the road of the old town. For little Sonja Steffen from Heidelberg, an almost perfect vacation means to have a fried sausage and French fries with mayonnaise. Sonja's parents appreciate the clean air during their vacation by the Baltic Sea in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. Here in Kühlungsborn it hasn't always been like that, because if the wind was not coming from the sea, you could smell the near farms. 50,000 tons of slurry per year have been spread on the fields. By since April 2000, the tank trucks are heating to the biogas plant Neubuko, where Fermatic has erected one of the biggest and most modern installations in all Europe. The plant is an example for the usage of renewable energies. Bacteria are processing almost any biological remains into gas and fertilizer. More than 200 tons per day can be delivered.
In the Annahme Halle, the biogas anlage. Through the entrance hall of this biogas plant, we can take about 80,000 tons of organic waste a year. This makes tons of slurry from flats, slaughterhouses, and fish processing industry. Just anything from this region. The receiving station has a dumping pit for solid waste and hose connections for pumpable waste. Und die Annahme über Schlauchanschlüsse. The pumpable remains are processed starting with a special treatment. The pasteurization guarantees the highest safety level. All organic wastes are heated to 90 degrees for one hour in order to eliminate all pathogens. The pasteurization makes sure that nothing happens coincidentally, no matter if slurry or industrial waste is, only safe material gets into gas production. Here the cocktail is prepared which guarantees the best possible gas yield. Thus a constant basis ensures an effective energy production. The incoming substrate is pumped into the fermenters via the hydrolysis, where the bacteria start the gas production under optimum conditions. With the modular construction of fermatic plants we are able to offer all sizes. However, fermatic's high quality level is always decisive. Fermatic use modern industrial standards in order to fulfill our customers' requirements. Thus we achieve the highest operation safety possible. The design is safety and two-lined. If one of the process line fails, the other one can still continue working, producing gas. The biogas is clean biologically, so this comes up to the quality of natural gas. This extremely prolongs the lifetime of the CHP. The two CHP produce energy and heat from the biogas even in the range of megawatts. Our CHP are most efficient. Here biogas is converted in sellable energy, for profit is what counts. In the central control room the fermatic plant is safely and easily operated with the help of modern software. Left is only a slurry, which is no longer gassing or smelling, but nevertheless fertilizing. Because what has been produced as waste within the pig stable now can orderless be brought on the fields as bio-fertilizer, a problem-solving recycling economy. For our farm, the Nabucco plant means a lot, because of the slurry. This is a holiday area, and we've had a lot of problems with slurry spraying. Now, this has been solved thanks to the fermented slurry which we can spread now on our fields. And what is coming out here doesn't smell like slurry, but fertilizes better without burdening neither air nor water. This idea has convinced everybody around here. Now there is really no smell in the air anymore, because the biogas plant is working well. So, we hope to be able to offer clean air to the tourists coming to the holiday areas at the Baltic Sea. Furthermore, we created new jobs and hope, quite unselfish, for the trade tax from this plant to contribute to our treasury. And finally, we try to produce and to process renewable energy and to use the waste product hot water for our household heating system. Und das Abfallprodukt warmes Wasser für unsere Stadtwerke GmbH zum Beheizen der Wohnungen zu nutzen. So everybody wins. The farmers solve their slurry problem, the industries dispose their bio waste is useful, the citizens heat for low price by district heating, and it has been taken care of the environment. The vacation state Mecklenburg Vorpommern can nowadays be proud of its clean air, at least in and around Neubuko. This has been made by Fermatic and the effective biopower plant, high quality and a long lifetime. Thus, it belongs to the most reliable biogas plants in the world.